Well, uh, this is one of those uh, ceremonies that I'm sure the words, but uh, nonetheless, I will try as much as within my powers to see uh, the deployment of the right words to describe today's very occasion. The relay, which started about five years ago, is about to be passed. I mean, the button is about to be passed to another able and capable hands that will continue with the relay run of the National Open University of Nigeria. Uh, very senior principal officers of this university, uh, friends of the university, journalists cut across uh, the different national mediums who are here to witness what ordinarily should have been an in-house transmission of power are here to witness this all important uh, handing over because of uh, the status the National Open University of Nigeria has achieved for itself in the last five years. My Vice Chancellor, sir, we've come to almost the end of the business, of your business, your sojourn at the National Open University of Nigeria. And that is exactly why we're all gathered here to official, officially see uh, how the Antipopa ceremony uh, will look like. But before we commence with the business of that, permit me very quickly, uh, for the purpose of uh, those who found themselves here as a privileged few to witness this occasion, let me very expressly uh, recognize the outgoing Vice Chancellor, Dr. Professor Abdallah Bouba Adamu. Seated to his immediate left is the incoming Vice Chancellor of the National Open University of Nigeria, Professor Femi Peters. Of course, uh, we have the two deputy vice chancellors of the National Open University of Nigeria. First, the deputy vice chancellor in charge of academics, Professor Uduma Oji Uduman, and the deputy vice chancellor in charge of academics and personal uh, administration, Professor Justus Shekofu. We also have uh, the registrar of the university, Sir Felix Edoka Kiesen. Dr. Enes Odega is the boss of the university and Dr. Sally Adam Gabo is the librarian of the university. We also have in this auditorium council members of the National Open University of Nigeria. Uh, we have other directors, among whom is the director of media and publicity of the National Open University of Nigeria, Malam Ibrahim Sheme. We also have the man in charge of the legal services, Barrister Daniel Ricci. Permit me to call the protocol here to want to hand over the microphone to the outgoing Vice Chancellor of the National Open University of Nigeria to commence with what appears like a ritual of a handing over ceremony. Sir. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على نبيه الكريم. This is a very very important day for me and as well because this this day reflects two emotions in me. The first emotion is that I will be living, and as I always do with my register, I look forward to the day when people will say, "Go with God, but go." Uh, the second emotion is that I'm very happy that I'm living the university in extremely capable hands. Uh, but first of all, I would like to uh, calm down the registrar's uh, uh, palpated nerves. Uh, the registrar expected uh, this uh, event to be attended by uh, at least seven people. But what you don't know is that, uh, or what you have forgotten is that the, the vice chancellor himself is a media person, and the uh, incoming vice chancellor is also a media person. And uh, in, in this regard, there is no way this thing can quietly just be, be done. So we are going to split it into two. The first one will be the visible handover that everybody will see, they will record it, and they will wish him well because quite a few people here are his friends. And I'm very proud of the fact that I would say 
the oldest friend that I have. That is, we have been together since around 1968 to date, without a day in which we fought. We're still together. He's here. Alad Musa. Alad Musa, please stand up. And by sheer coincidence, he also happened to be an extremely close friend of the incoming vice chancellor. <laughs> so when I saw him, I didn't recognize him because we all have this mask on. But when I saw him, I was shocked. I thought he actually came for me. But he told me, no, I didn't come for you. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all to this uh, activity, which, like I said, is split into two. The first part of the activity will be a formal, visible handover between the Vice Chancellor outgoing, myself, and the incoming Vice Chancellor, Professor Olubemi Peters. After that, the principal officers will retire into this place uh, for a technical uh, handover, which will be just like 5, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, because all the information that, that is needed will be passed on to him. This is a symbolic, visible, public handover of beta between one person to another. And we welcome our, our friends from the press. Like I said, he's also a media person. I'm a media person. So it is only expected and natural that our media friends would like to capture as much of it as, as possible. Uh, the first time I was appointed, I, I, I it was awful. My, the minister's office was full of uh, media practitioners. Uh, so it is only expected that when I'm leaving, uh, the same media practitioners will be here. And I'm glad to see that they have not aged one bit in the five years. I have a small address that I will read, which will make it easier for people to focus attention on uh, what I'm saying. I started with Bismillah Rahman Rahim in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Master, in February 2016. And I end today with Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, gratitude to Allah Most High. It has been five years since Allah in His infinite wisdom entrusted upon me the leadership of the National Open University of Nigeria. These five years have been extremely intense and allowed me an opportunity to contribute the little that I can to widen and access to higher mass education for the people in Nigeria. It was an assignment I took with spiritual vigor knowing very well that, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For my Lord will be with me every step of the way. My Lord has guided me, corrected me, and directed me to fulfill the mandate he entrusted in me. I will spend the whole of eternity in gratitude to his glory and mercy. Our lives seem to be measured in chunks of three to five years. And each chunk represents a defining moment in our journey through life. I live now with fond memories of five years of a chunk of my life. In these five years, I have been in situations where I have thought, it is really special that I am getting to experience this. These situations of challenge and requiring fortitude represented what I have truly appreciated about the job. These defining moments included processes that gave the university its soul and direction to the future. Although there are many achievements that have, been, that have given me pride during my tenure, there are certain matters I wish I had done better. As an organizational leader, one must embody humility and take ownership for shortcomings of the organization, not just its success. The release of the outside independent review of proposed needs assessment of the students was a systemic event to now, representing one of the greatest challenges facing the university as a lady. Addressing the lessons learned from this report will be a focus for years to come in the university. My sadness was that such activity will take place after I have left, for I feel responsible for the status of the university described in the report. My overwhelming focus on stabilizing the university in terms of its structures, flow of funding, staff progression, infrastructural development, internal control of data flows, do not seem to have left room for me to focus on the needs and perceptions of my clients, that is the students, to address them until the tail end of my tenure. I am happy though that it has been possible to identify the problem and that the incoming Vice Chancellor, Professor Pim Peters, can aggressively pursue this phase of the development of the university. 
running a complete university, I'm, I'm running a complex university such as now, posed another challenge to me on a personal level. I was worried that my kinetic research energy might be diffused by the myriad problems I would face on taking over the university in 2016. Happily, the Lord granted me strength to combine both administration and leadership as well as scholarship. In February 2021, I have published both nationally and internationally 29 journal articles and book chapters. In discussing my responsibilities as the Vice Chancellor of Noun, I'm completely humbled by the incredible array of people who made an equal, incredible, equally incredible array of resources available to my disposal, ranging from sheer goodwill to opening up doors to opportunities all geared towards ensuring my massive success as Vice Chancellor of Noun. Encounters with legislators at the National Assembly provided effective opportunities for engaging the political class in narratives about education and social responsibility. NAS committees on budget and appropriation, as well as the spectrum of church fund leadership, shared my vision and provided the necessary funding to actualize it. The National Universities Commission excellently gave me the roadmap to quality assurance in our programming. The Council of Legal Education reasoned with my arguments concerning the quality of our law products and broke the noun law jinx that enabled our law graduates to proceed to law school from April 2021. At the home prom, I was extremely lucky and blessed to have a dream team that worked with me flawlessly for five years, both as a leader but most significantly to me as a friend, thus creating a harmonious atmosphere which enabled us to achieve a lot. In particular, the registrar, Sir Philip Edoka, the bursar, Dr. Ennis uh, Anis Odega, the deputy vice chancellor academic, Professor Uduma Oji Uduma. The Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, Professor Justus Shakepun, and the University Librarian, Dr. Adam Gambasali, constituted the arrowhead of success that we gained as the dream team at the management level. However, my greatest thanks and gratitude go to the Chairman of the Governing Council, Distinguished Emeritus Professor Peter Agentola of Gebukola, for believing in me for over 20 years and for being there for me in the past, now, and in the future. I would like to also extend my special thanks to the other members of council, both internal and external, for being part of the processes that promises to radically transform the National Open University of Nigeria and the massive support I received from them. I strongly believe that this governing council, with Professor Bebukola at the top, remain the best and most blessed governing council this university ever had, making the council part of my dream team. I thank each and every one of you for the camaraderie, understanding, and support in discharging our responsibilities without a wrong call. I believe I leave a university well positioned to meet the opportunities and challenges of being a national and international leader in African global open and digital learning in the 21st century. It has been a privilege to serve you and be part of the dream team. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Thank you. Now, it is my distinct pleasure to hand over two documents to the incoming Vice Chancellor, Professor Olupemi Peters. One, which we will discuss on a technical level after this session, and the other one, which is a bit bulky uh, for him to, to read. This document, this large, large document, is a compilation of the report of the Vice Chancellor to the Governing Council from March 2016 to February 2021. It gives a complete picture of what we did and the challenges we faced and how we were able to overcome those challenges. Um, this one is the technical part, which I will now sign. pleasure to also give you this uh, as a diary of the five years 
that I have been the Vice Chancellor of the National Open University of Nigeria. You are very welcome. And finally, sir, it is my pleasure to hand you the staff of office. <laughs> it's my pleasure to hand you the staff of office that officially recognizes you as the Vice Chancellor of the National Open University of Nigeria. Yeah. I will now take my uh, place uh, in that chair while you take your place in this chair. <laughs> Congratulations, Vice Chancellor, National Open University of Nigeria, Professor Femi Peters. Thank you very much, former Vice Chancellor of the National Open University of Nigeria, Professor Abdelal Uba Ali. At this very moment, may I humbly request the Vice Chancellor, National Open University of Nigeria, Professor Femi Peters, to make his remark, sir. Vice Chancellor, uh, of the University. Uh, our friends who are here in the media, I, I would have uh, thought that this occasion would go like this. But if you know Abdallah, then you will know that you should have expected to something like this. First is to thank the Almighty God who has made today possible. Uh, it's been a wonderful journey uh, for those of Dallas that has enjoyed in a very, very remarkable way. I want to thank God for him. I want to thank God for his life and for all what he has done for the National Government University of Nigeria. Uh, his legacies, I pray to God Almighty, will be very enduring and we shall have cause now and then to make reference to the tenure of Professor Abdallah Uba Adamu. Uh, this is not a speech making speech making day that to give back to God. It has spared uh, my life. I joined this university as a founding staff. But I also joined the university with uh, Professor Abdallah also as the think the work team that prepared the ground for the establishment of, of this university. So like Professor Abdallah said, we've come a long way. And it's such a very wonderful coincidence that his oldest friend is also my friend. And it has pleased God that he is around to witness the handing over from one old friend to another friend. We give God all the glory. So uh, it's going to be very short. Uh, permit me to do one simple uh, ceremony as a sign of appreciation to Professor Abdallah Ubadan to me personally. And so I want to present this gift to him. Mr. Vice Chancellor, sir, this is a token of my love. For all what you did to the university and also to the Thank you very much. Well, this is it. Ambrose, I'm not giving you anything. Yesterday, he was carrying uh, some of these things, especially those in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs>
Come in here. National Open University of Nigeria. Officers on the guard, 15. Boys on the guard, 30. Six principal officers of the National Open University. Welcoming you to the National Open University of Nigeria. Part me is to fall in, sir. 
Go! 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 